Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. The Admin. A villain who can become anyone with the wave of his hand. How do you face a foe who's never exactly as he seems? Do you refuse to hide who you really are? Even when it might be a better idea to stay <laughs> under the radar? Not everyone can face a trickster head-on. Some join him. Others put on a brave face, even when they're scared. No matter what, encountering that kind of evil changes you. It can turn you into a hero. Or something else. If there's a lesson to be learned, it's be careful when you get close to an admin. You never know what might happen if you dig too deep. Have everyone? Everybody safe? Yeah, everyone except Nurm. <sighs> Can't believe you left him behind for some useless llama. She's not some useless llama. Looks pretty useless to me. Stop it. You're hurting her feelings. She can't understand a word I'm saying. Come on, Jack. Give Luna a chance. She can be a big help if you let her. I'll believe it when I see it. You were right. There's a whole world down here. The first world. Created by us. Romeo, Fred, and me. Haven't seen it since I was imprisoned. Before he bedrocked over it all. You made this? Not this. This shadow. The view from up here. It used to be beautiful. So you say. This is way worse than I imagined. That he'd do something like this to his own world. How did nobody know about this? It's just been down here this whole time? Romeo didn't want anyone to know. Wanted people to forget. He probably wants to forget about it too. I knew what Romeo planned to do. But still, seeing it like this... Romeo? The Admin. Oh! It's worse than I imagined. This is the room where he killed Fred. I watched it happen. We refused to join him and... It was... Slow. Oh boy. He needs to be stopped. That's why we're here. He hurt you. And he'll hurt more people. I wonder if he had a heart at all. Or... He was just a monster pretending to play along. Fred's keep is that way. Want to defeat Romeo? The weapon's in there. That sounded vaguely ominous. Is that...? That is the biggest Enderman I've ever seen. Romeo never could leave well enough alone. He liked toying with the basic order of things. If I could go one day, just one day, without seeing something new and completely terrifying! So that thing is another admin creating monstrosity. Time to move, guys. <gasps> so mesmerizing. Dismantling the tower! 
isn't far from here. I'll lead the way. Fred's keep lies just on the other side, and we'll have some cover from that thing. What? Did you guys see? Jesse, we gotta go. for me because because I'm tough whatever our defenses are impressive state-of-the-art machinery automated farming the oasis is a completely self-sustaining city it's home what what happened to it are you okay wow you Kinda oversold this one. This place looks terrible. I... I didn't know. It was beautiful. It was... Wait. This is your town? What has he done to it? Hang on. I just need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town. And they'll all think it's me. Oh, get out of here, you walking carpet! Eat yourself! You, uh, okay there, Jack? No, this dumb stack of wool won't leave me alone. <clears throat> Disgusting spit everywhere, not good for anything. No useful skills, can't make maps, no sense of humor. A terrible conversationalist. Hey, at least she's cute, right? Most of the time. I guess. Yeah, she's okay. Sorry, Luna. We will get Nurm back, Jack. I don't know how yet. But we're not going to forget him. Yeah, I, uh... I appreciate that, Jesse. Years without sleep! Years! <laughs> Only rest is at home. Won't rest until I get there, I said! Zara? Look at this. My bed. Come on. She's freaking out about a bed. Really? Could she be any more melodramatic? Wow. Good luck with that. I just wanted to sleep. I thought, if I could find this one thing, one last thing still whole, there's no hope for this place. I'll never get it back now. He made sure. I know you're upset, but you can sleep once we've defeated the admin. That has to come first. So simple for you. I was not dried out. Stuck open. Gross! Mm. 
Zara, what are you doing over here by this, uh... It's a portal. What? A portal. Broken now like everything else. Just leave me here. Go. All this obsessing about the past isn't helping anyone, Zara. It's... It's time to move on. Not yet. What about the portal? Where does it go, anyway? Nowhere, obviously. It's broken. We built these so we could visit each other. An object in the frame would teleport you to the owner. My idea, by the way. Though Romeo took credit for it. Fred wanted to add the birch. He loved birch. So you'd know how to rebuild it. And get us up to the admin. I don't know if I can. If it was your idea, then you should know how to fix it, right? Unless it really was Romeo's invention. It was not! I don't know. Not sure I buy it. I see what you're doing. I don't get it. How do you keep going? Look where you are. But you're still fighting. Why? I'm tired of the admin doing whatever he wants. Stealing my face, my town, my friends. I want my life back. And Fred's weapon is the only way to do it. Fine. It won't work without a personal object. Something with a strong bond to Romeo to take us right to him. Though an object crafted on the surface could do in a pinch. Let me worry about finding an object for the portal. You just focus on getting it running. Follow the tracks. They'll lead you to Fred's keep. Whatever Fred found, he hid it at home. That's what he told me. Jesse! Go. I'll see what I can do. the tracks to Fred's keep. That's where we'll find the weapon. Kind of useless unless we can find a way out of here. Can't exactly go back up through that prison. Zara's got it covered. Great. Just what this place needed. Run on ahead. I never say no to a little gunpowder. One. Fred's keep, here we come. Uh, Jesse? Who made eye contact with the Enderman? Sorry. It doesn't that. Everybody jump! Jack! I'm okay! No! Need to stop saying that! You two are in a bit of a pinch, ain't ya? Smell like a couple of admin lackeys to me. AKA trouble. Definitely smells like admin. You don't know what an admin smells like. Sure do. Uh, kinda sulfury. Don't think that's a word. Magmatastic? Nope, no trouble here. Just two people hanging out. Yeah, you look like you're having a great time. <laughs> We've been scavenging these lands since the darkness fell. You know what? We can sniff out an outsider when we sniff one. So what are you doing all the way down here, small fry? You lost? Why I'm here is none of your business. 
Aaron, huh? Can't be too careful down here. No telling who might want to kill you. Though the cliff you're hanging off might do the trick first. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Maybe we help you. Maybe we just walk away. Leave you here to die. <laughs> the first one. Pick the first one. Like a lot of work getting down there, pulling you up. Ugh, my arms are tired. So tired. I promise you, if you don't help us, you're going to regret it. Who oh, wasn't that scary? Terrifying. Gonna have nightmares. <laughs> I like the attitude. Takes guts, solid guts. Oops. Down here, we don't do anything for free. Can't really blame us. What with the giant monsters and nothing growing. So, how about we take your inventory for a spin? Permanently! We're really interested in any weaponry you may have. A warrior without their sword in a place like this is dead meat. Your friend doesn't look like he's gonna last much longer. What'll it be? Don't do it, Jesse. We can find another way. Your swords or splat? Flatter than a lily pad at the bottom of this canyon. <laughs> Splat. Ooh. Come on, come on. Just uh, gotta get some leverage. Unlike the angels here, I can do this all day. Or night, I suppose. Kind of the same thing down here. No deal. Yeah, well, that's disappointing. <laughs> yeah, we'll go our own way. Don't go playing heroes, Squishies! World this dark will snuff out a light like you real fast! Jesse! Jack! Eh, tried to tell ya! Move out, ya stink bags! knew we had to defeat the admin no matter what. He would want us to keep going. That's exactly what he would have wanted. <laughs> Past tense. Wait. What about Luna? What about her? She's a treasure-sniffing llama, right? Treasure-sniffing, not Jack-sniffing. I don't think Luna would be much help here. Yes, this is how they keep the mobs out. Strangers! Strangers! Binta! What do we do here, Jesse? She's still running. Stop! Stop right there! Okay, okay. I don't want any trouble. Now what? I've never seen you before, and, and I know everyone, everyone in the underneath. Binta! 
She's not coming back, is she? Someone in there has to know where that weapon is. Let's go. Careful. They might be well armed, and now they know we're coming. Have been returned. Festivities will close with a fireworks display as usual. And don't forget to sign up for our Faithful Friends of Fred trivia competition for a chance to win one night in Fred's house. Come on, people. We can't let Kent win every time, can we? Study up. Competition starts at Fred o'clock. Why did I say that? They're having a trivia contest? Doesn't that seem a little silly? Silly? They're trapped underground with a bunch of monsters, including a giant freaking Enderman. Don't they have more important things to worry about? Yeah, that's kind of an understatement. How can they care about trivia when their whole world is falling apart? I don't know. I kind of like... Never mind. Welcome to Fred's Keep. My name is Binta. This is the part where you tell me why you're here. We're looking for a weapon that belonged to Fred. It's supposed to be hidden in his home. Maybe we could take a look? Fred's house is sacred. And locked. No one enters unless they win the contest. No one. It's how we honor Fred. Even I only enter through its doors on special occasions. Most of my townspeople have never even been inside. You can't be serious. We're trying to save the world here, and you're talking about trivia contests. Facts are facts, and trivia is serious business. The door is locked until the contest is won. No amount of arguing will change that. Fred built this place, made it safe from all the monsters out there. This is his legacy, his final request. I'm not breaking my promise to him. You're welcome to try your luck. See how well you know Fred. I don't know him very well at all. I've never met him. Guess you better start researching. Good luck. This place is weird. What are you up to? Uh-huh. Uh, uh, oh. Just trying to figure out if, if there's a better way into Fred's house than, well, studying. Just in case. Hey, um, Jesse? Yeah? Do you think Radar still thinks, I don't know, I feel like everyone's looking at me differently. You noticed it too, right? He's being weird with me. Like, like he thinks I'm still, still with the admin or something. You know how Radar can get? He's just overreacting. He'll get over it, eventually. I hope so. Just had to, you know, make sure I wasn't the only one who noticed. Poor thing had no chance of growing down here. Might still be useful, though. the one. The one who thinks they can beat me as a faithful friend of Fred. Hey, dude. And I'll tell you something, stranger. I am the most faithful friend of Fred, which means I always win. And that means you will lose. So good luck. I don't even know what to do with that one. from this thing. Like water in a bucket becomes the bucket. Water in a lake becomes a lake. And oh, Jesse didn't know you were right there watching me do that. Anyway, the Oasis and Fred's Keep are all, you know, kind of broken. But I wonder what this place looked like before. Bet it was amazing. The admin's not gonna do this to Beacon Town, is he? We have no idea what he's doing up there. 
It could be all gone, and we'd have no idea. If he does anything to Beacon Town, then I'm gonna be the one to make him pay. You're, uh, kinda scary sometimes. In a good way. Look, if there's one thing I learned in the Slammer, it's that I have to keep my body ready for anything. Uh, one, uh, two, uh, and a half. Uh, hey, Luna, come give me a, give me a hoof. Uh, weight resistance, you know? Hey. Uh, oh, oh, my God. Uh, uh. <laughs> Baby, feel that bird. Oh, feel it. Uh, I'm feeling it. Feel it. to make anything. You are... Wow. You are really cute. Go get it! A good dog. You're a good dog. <laughs> oh, man, you are a serious fetch artist. A good dog. You're a good dog. <laughs> ah, there you are. Are you ready to begin? I'm ready. Let's do this. It's about time. Attention, everyone! Let all faithful friends of Fred gather, for our competition begins now! Gather round, everyone! Will the contestants please take the stage? Please welcome reigning champion, Kent! And we have a challenger! Uh... Jesse. It's Jesse. Jesse! That feeling of intimidation? Totally normal. I have that effect on people. It comes from being the best. What a pinnacle of intellectual fortitude! Can't be my best friend! You got this, Jesse! Don't let him intimidate you! Speechlessness is also one of my side effects. I could make you a list later. For our first question, I thought we'd mix it up a little. I challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah! Jesse's the best at building! Not the time, Radar! Begin!
nice. Yes, yes, yes! Jesse, it's as if you've known Fred his whole life. What? How can you say that? That, that thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred's true spirit didn't lie with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. Though, I must give you points for accuracy. Such painstaking detail. I declare this round a draw! What? This was quite possibly the best presentation of Fred's in the history of our competition. Now for the questions. Kent, you will go first. Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread. Correct! Now you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue. We all know that. But what kind of blue did he love the most? Your time begins now. Come on, Jesse, you can do this! Silence from the audience, please. Sorry! His favorite color was lapis blue. That is correct! Well done! Next question. Kent, Fred was a man of simple means, but he had one point of excess. His favorite tool. What was it? A diamond hoe. Obviously. Very good! Jesse, Fred had a constant companion. A fine, feathery friend. What was that pet's name? We actually met a chicken named Benedict once. <laughs> really? Silence, please. Fred's pet, his best friend, was named Waffles for the way he was always waffling. That is correct! Jesse, well done! I am rather astounded that the competition continues to be this close. Kent, you might finally lose your title. Listen closely. Both of you. The final question is one that only the most faithful friend to Fred could possibly know. As such, it is worth double. Whoever answers this question correctly first will win one night in Fred's house. Of all the trees in the forest, of all the wood we once built our homes with, this was Fred's favorite. What was it? Wait, what? No one knows that. Fred didn't play favorites with resources. Ah, but that's where you're wrong. But, but, I... I... Time's running out. We need an answer. Oh, oh. Didn't Zara say something about this? Could have been jungle or birch? I don't... Silence, please. Our competitors are thinking. Right, right. It's birch. It's birch! You, uh... Yes. Yes! Birch was Fred's favorite. That's right, Jesse won! <laughs> Way to go, Jesse! Congratulations! That was very impressive. I'm sure I'm not the only one surprised by this turn of events. As your prize, you will spend one night in Fred's house. Be careful not to disturb its contents. And here are your sleeping garments. The true <laughs> mark of Fred. Only the champion gets to wear these. It's a very special privilege. You know, Kent did a great job out there. He should have the, uh, sleeping garments. You would really... I don't need your pity prize. Here's an idea. No one gets them. How about that? <laughs> Jesse, I hope you find what you're looking for. Okay, if I were a weapon of some sort, where would I be?
guess blue really is Fred's favorite color. Even the bed's blue. No one will mind if I just... This is probably super disrespectful to Fred. <clears throat> yeah. The foundation. Whoa. Half the pages are gone. And the rest? There are a lot of notes. Community didn't seem to be as important to him. Whatever ideals that he'd had when he'd started, they'd shifted, rerouted. Something else had settled on his soul. The rest is marked out. The life of a cog and other existential builder crises. Okay. Maybe there's a clue in here? When one becomes one with building, one's heart will follow the path of... Uh, no. Brave new Enderman. By Soren? Definitely not what I'm looking for, but... Man... Soren only wrote reference books. Huh. Once upon a time, there was a little Enderman who was afraid of the dark. All the bigger Endermen taunted him, and didn't let him play their Enderman games. Yada yada yada, he faces his fear. He's a brave new Enderman. Use this thing for a long time. Nothing in here now, except that button. It's a uh... whoa, secret room. There's got to be something down here. One is called the Survivor's Book of Secrets. Okay, secrets are good. This book contains the collective knowledge of the survivors. We're an underground group of survival experts who have been around since the early days. It goes on, signed by the Chief. Interesting, but not really what I need. Another book. Great, but it's unmarked. No author. I know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Zara and Romeo with me. This... This is Fred's journal. I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us, together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. We weren't just happy there. We were home. Wait, home? Then he wasn't talking about here. There's got to be something in here that says where this cabin is. Three towns. 
There's the oasis there, and the keep. Third is... Romeoburg. <laughs> Seriously? What kind of name is a Romeoburg? No cabin, though. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something. Binta! Jesse, I... There's something I need to ask you about. Uh, how did you know the answer to that last question? It's not common knowledge, and it was shared with me in great confidence before... Well, before this place was considered underneath. I knew because Zara told me. She knew Fred better than anyone. Zara? As in, Fred's Zara. The Zara. The one and only. She hasn't been seen down here in a very, very long time. You're more impressive than you seem. Maybe they're right after all. Maybe you are from above the bedrock. Rumors have been going around since your arrival. There aren't many people we don't recognize down here. Yeah, about that. Well, did you at least find what you were looking for? This weapon? I don't know why Fred would have one. But I must admit I'm curious. No, we didn't find the weapon. It's in a cabin where Fred, Zara, and Romeo hung out when they were friends. Romeo? Did they say Romeo? The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now he's in our town pretending to be me. We need to stop him. Problem is, we don't know where the cabin is. I want to help you, but there's something I need from you in return. If you're really from up there, then you must have a way back. Take us with you, above the bedrock. Above? Pinto, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. We're safe here. And if Romeo... Romeo trapped us down here. He wants us to stay. I won't give him the satisfaction. He won't like us going up there. You might be safer down here for the time being. The admin has decided to... Take an interest in our world. Then we'll help you. We can't stay down here. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. They'll come around. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future is up there. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the oasis. Fred left this to me before he... <laughs> the needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They've got a massive army, so be careful. Please, take good care of it. You've shown I can trust you to respect Fred's memory. So, I know I can trust you with this. I hate to ask, but... How do I know this is what you say it is? Look, Fred taught us to look out for one another. I take that very seriously. I wouldn't be parting with something so special to me otherwise. I'll prepare my people. You take these. Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Where did... Hey! Give that back! <laughs>
try. I'm so sorry. So, uh, what's the compass saying? We still heading the right way? Hang on. Let me check. Seems like we're still on. Truck's out. Everybody brace yourself. Uh, rough ride. No, not for you. Man, the track is a complete wreck. Yeah. What's up with you? One person I know fights like that. You are the real Jesse! Ivor! <clears throat> yes! It is I, your friend Ivor. I'm a ninja now, Jesse! What? Yeah, what? It all started when I fell through a portal into some sort of strange world. Everything was all white. Master Shadows to me. <laughs> nice! Uh, you see? Ninja reflexes. Wait, you tried to hit me. Why'd you try to hit me? That would have been quite painful. Wow. Master Shadow teach you how to whine, too? No. And rude. <laughs> it's good to see you, Ivor. I? Yes. Yes, it's good to see you, too. Though I'm not sure I like this new look of yours. Says the guy dressed as an actual ninja. It seemed like the only way to get you to stop talking. Ah, uh, yes. I'm so sorry. It's just so exciting to see you. And there's so much to say. How about you start with what the heck you're doing down here? Uh, right. Let me explain. You see, it all started when Harper and I returned from our vacation. We discovered that while we were gone, you had mysteriously vanished after fighting a prismarine giant named the Admin. Right. Only to return, having defeated this Admin and taken his amazing powers. Wait, what? Yeah, that's not right. Ugh, that is such a lie. Just thinking about the Admin running around pretending to be me makes me sick. Yes, I would be frustrated too. Especially seeing how convincing the Admin's disguise is. Jesse, aka the Admin, gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud, aka you. But with my new ninja senses, <clears throat> I could tell something wasn't right. Anyone who disagrees, anyone who questions Jesse, disappears. They must hate me. It's certainly not helping your reputation. No, but I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that. That's why I decided to try and use this opportunity to discover the truth. Luckily, it worked out because I would have felt terrible about killing you. Classic thing to say to your friends. I can tell you're being sarcastic. But you'd be surprised. Hmm. Yeah. I'll admit, you've gotten better since we were last hanging out. I was impressed. I don't do it for the compliments, Petra. But they certainly don't hurt. 
Well, but what am I doing wasting time talking? If I don't get back to the prison soon and report in, the admin will know that something isn't right. That's perfect. You can make up a lie and he'll never suspect that I'm actually down here. Which will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon. Hold on! How'd you know about I'm that? I'm a ninja! Anyway, that plan is all well and good. But what exactly should I tell the admin? It needs to be plausible, but dramatic. Yeah, believable, but entertaining. Realistic, but shocking. Within the realm of possibility, but against all odds. Okay, tell him that I escaped, but that you tracked me down and took me out. Yes, I'm sure he'll be delighted by the description of our epic confrontation. Your final, desperate struggles to cling to a fading reality. You're a real poet, Ivor. Ninja! I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I must go. Go. We'll see you when we get back to the surface. Oh, wait. Can I borrow that amulet? Certainly, but why? <laughs> Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Please hurry. It's getting dire up there. Smoke bomb! <laughs> ah! You saw nothing. We all just saw that, right? I, I didn't, like, hallucinate Ninja Ivor. Nuh-uh. Just when I thought that crusty dude couldn't get any word. And we're ready to roll. Come on, guys. right to that building. Oh, good. It only sounds like there are a few thousand big scary people between us and there. Halt! You there! What business have you? I, um, think we need to go into that building behind you. If that's okay! Uh, you know, it is in fact not okay, okay? Now just move along and don't go anywhere near the building or we will sick our army on you. Or we'll sick our army on you. We don't want to unleash the force of our army. And it's a mighty army. Mightiest army I know. You are not leaving. <laughs> you will regret not leaving after you've tasted the wrath of our mighty army. <laughs> Weird. It's not weird. The army just, just, uh, took a power nap. Now they're stronger than ever. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to their nap. Yeah. We're not going to ask you again, all right? You just skedaddle before our well-rested army makes you regret it. We're gearing up. Yeah, it's the biggest army you've ever heard right here. Nothing is scarier about an army than its sound. Yeah. Uh, this is so sad. Please! Please! Please don't send your army on us! Oh, please, please. We want to live. Listen, it's not a real army. It's just a jukebox recording, okay? Please, stop crying. We're not going to hurt you. We can't let you in. Really, it's for your own good. That building you're pointing at? That's Romeo's challenge. Yeah, it's nothing more than a death trap. The worst kind of trap. Which is why we vowed to keep everyone out. Even relentless travelers like you. I mean, you should thank us for keeping you away from it, okay? We're doing you a solid. Yeah, duh. Thank you, Val and Sue, for doing us a solid. It's our pleasure for kind hearted of guards to do what we can every single day. Doing solids, saving lives. Gotta say, it feels good, real good. I escaped Romeo's highest security prison. 
the Sunshine Institute. I think I can handle some little challenge. Whoa, that's hardcore. Whoa, yeah. Anyone who escaped that place? Mad props. Open the gate! On it! No, Soup, the, the gate. Yeah, the, the real gate. Right! On it! Whoa, weird llama. What are they doing? Negotiating terms. Uh -huh. <gasps> oh, you've got a pet llama too. Yeah, she's my pet. We've got a real bond. Yeah, oh, so I can see. <laughs> This is a wasteland. Yeah, uh, having a town where everyone enters a mysterious challenge room that never comes out will do that. I, uh, <laughs> suppose that, uh, might affect population levels a little. Uh, we still don't feel good about permitting you in the challenge room, especially unarmed. But we'll trade you some gear if you can build something to scare off future unwanted visitors. You know, like a snowman. Or a huge flower. Just <sighs> make something that will help us strike fear into the hearts of all who would see it. Keep people off our backs. Something to give us a little me time. Give me nightmares. <laughs> well done. Yes. Wonderfully horrifying. Nothing organized, not alphabetized, not even sorted by material. This is barbaric. This is what we managed to salvage from the goofballs. Uh, I mean, residents who tried entering. Treasure sniffing llama, eh? <coughs> Let's see what you found, Luna. Ooh, that's a beaut! Solid sniffing, Luna. <coughs> How come you didn't sniff that out? <sighs> Try to eat armor. Best advice I ever heard. Poor goofballs. Cut down in their prime. Don't ask me how I come up with the names. Sometimes inspiration. 
information just comes to you, you know? Armor of such fine quality, you just want to crouch and yell, please don't hit me. Dangerous! But also damaged, so it's more relatable. You know, like, one trillion out of ten! Yeah! Cause it's the seventh! What do you want? Everybody's got off days, you know? One day when I was like, Sue, how many straps can you put on that armor? Turns out a lot is the answer. Um, uh, uh, how about I call this one the, uh, the uh, golden apple? Yeah. Uh, huh. uh, I might just be hungry. <sighs> now that is armor fit for a challenge room. It's so shiny, you can see yourself defeating the challenge room. thinking, Luna. We'll be back for you soon. I hope. must be through that door. Those pressure plates release waterfalls upstairs. It's so calculated, so precise. Judging by the multiple pressure plates, there's some complex engineering behind these walls. Wouldn't expect anything less from the guy who made an icy palace of despair. This was meant for the three friends. Romeo, Zara, and Fred. How do you guys feel about pulling some mystery levers and seeing what happens? Here we go. Welcome! Zara, Fred, and me, Romeo! How? The admin designed all this just for his friends? Are you ready for the most brilliant, death-defying, heart you've ever experienced? <laughs> Radar, you have to... 
to break the machine. I'll cover you. On it! Take a look around. (laughs) 
Someone went through a lot of trouble to keep this place whole. Uh, where are you going? Petra's waiting for you. Right. I'm sure this isn't what you thought you were signing up for. Being an intern doesn't usually involve deadly adventures. Uh, what? Did you say something? Nope. Nothing. How are your feet? Ah, better. Still a little crispy, though. Ow, ow, okay, that hurts. Rest up, Radar. You've earned it. For Fred. Did Romeo do all this? Maybe he regretted it. In the end. set up these lamps after the bedrocking. I wonder if Petra found something. How's it looking? Doesn't seem to be anybody around. Nobody inside. Should be safe. Safe-ish. Get that weapon and get out of here. Remember I used to read all the time? Now I barely do. Things change. Yeah. It's like the one we used to have back at the treehouse. Until someone, you. Broke it. Uh-huh. <gasps> Petra? What's wrong? Uh, n nothing It just reminds me of... Uh, this... this story... About... Puppies. Really... Sad story. You know me, I can't help crying about dumb stuff like that. Puppies, little chickens... Rabbits that can't find carrots... Just... Uh, gets me every time. Let's hear it then. I want to hear the story. Um, so, yeah, there there was this puppy named, uh, Pendergast, and she, uh, fell into a... Ah, uh, th there is no puppy! Doesn't this remind you of anything? Our friends? We used to hang out in that treehouse all the time. Now, we barely talk. Why does this keep happening? Everyone leaves and I'm, I'm just by myself again. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I see them one by one just leaving. I kind of thought you liked it that way. You've always had this I don't need anybody thing going on. I know. I just thought I could convince myself, I guess. Axel and Olivia are barely around. We already lost Jack. Didn't take long for the new Order of the Stone to fall apart, did it? My fault for thinking it would be different. Held together longer than most. That doesn't make it hurt any less, though. People change, Petra. They grow apart sometimes. That's not a bad thing. That's easy for you to say. I'm the one who always ends up alone. I know this isn't important right now. Let's just find the weapon and get out of here. Something's not right here. The beds don't go with the banners. Petra, I think we should talk about this. I told you, it, it's not important. We have bigger things to worry about right now. 
I get that. It's fine. <sighs> we'll talk later, okay? Sure. We have to take down the admin. Uh, after that, we'll figure out what comes next. This one's purple. Very... regal. Whoa! It's an observer block. What's it looking at? The beds? Red bed. Huh. Kind of fun to say. Red for Romeo. That did something. One down. Now the rest of these need to go in the right order. Always liked the color blue. Something peaceful about it. Purple for Zara. the key to ending all this would be here, where it all started. This is the key to defeating Romeo. It says, hashtag potato 451. Potato? That's the weapon? What are, what, what are we supposed to do with potato? That's not a weapon. It's a root vegetable and not a very good one. I, oh, I hate potatoes. That's what it is? That's so dumb. Right? <sighs> Hashtag potato451. Take this word of passage and use it at the primary terminal. You can take away his power and end this. Word of passage? Hmm. I guess that's the potato. I still have hope for Romeo. He just wanted us to stay together more than anything. I know that's why he's doing this. Maybe I'm being foolish, but I need to know for sure before taking this step. Though I guess if you're here, I got my answer. Maybe someday we'll be together again. Your friend always, Fred. I kind of feel bad for them. Don't you? Yeah, I kind of feel bad for them, too. This wasn't easy. For any of the admins. They really cared about each other. Everyone talks about Romeo like he was this controlling monster, but... Fred wrote that Romeo just wanted to keep them together. More than anything. Isn't that what I've been doing? Especially to you? I don't want you to feel forced to keep doing something you don't want to. I don't want to be that person. Or, or make you feel scared to tell me the truth. You are nothing like the admin. Don't compare yourself to him. Even he didn't start out that way. It just got bad. I don't want to cross that line too. I've been thinking a lot about what you said. Adventuring is what I'm good at. It's where I belong. Not in Beacon Town. But I don't want to lose you. You mean a lot to me, Jesse. I... More than anyone else, you've been there. And I... I don't want to leave if it means... You're my best friend, Jesse. I'll be right there with you, Petra. If you think your place is out there, then so is mine. Thank you. 
always knew you were a big old softie. <laughs> You'll never be able to prove it. <laughs> we'll see. We'd better get that book back to the portal. Right. Let's go stop the admin. His days of being Jesse are over. She did it! This is it then! Time to call the others. We're getting out of here. is hidden for a reason, to keep things away. There are people in Fred's keep who are coming with us. Right, that won't be a burden. Sounding pretty adminish there, Zara. The weapon is what we need, not bodies to throw at the problem. People just complicate things, make everything messy, inefficient. No one, no one gets left behind, ever. I mean, that's not exactly true. You did leave that villager in my cell when we left the prison. But we needed... Well, from now on, then. Might be your downfall, waiting on others. Better be careful about that. As you can see, the portal's fully functional. You complete your end? Yep, I think this should send us home. And there's Fred's weapon. Potato. Weird, right? I, I thought it was weird. Fred trusted him. He went to Romeo with the best of intentions and was... was... Ugh. There is no redemption in Romeo. None. He needs to be stopped. Once and for all. He deserves it. Worse. For this and everything else. It's the only way. You know that's not what Fred would have wanted. No, you're right. But Fred is dead because of his heart. Something else has to be tried. But heroes are supposed to help people, not hurt them. Romeo deserves what's coming to him. Fred should be avenged. Fred was the best of us, cut down. I can't let it stand. Romeo regretted what he did. He planted a tree for Fred. We saw it. A tree. A memorial is too little. Well, what about that whole game he built? He clearly cared about you. Once. Romeo destroyed my world, and I wasn't there to help it. He's stolen it from me. There is no rebuilding. I have nothing now. It's really over the things we made. Here. I found this. And there are good things left. If you look for them. That you would... I... I'm not used to being wrong. Thank you. But we still need to move forward. <sighs> All right. Let's get this over with. Hand over that trinket of yours. Uh, Jesse? Thank <laughs> you. 
my training for the marsh hoppers and the Harline swamps totally paid off. Jack! <laughs> you thought a little fall would get the better of the velvet tornado? Please. For Fred's keep! For the future! out if he were here right now. Standing where the great hero stood, this is amazing! Spot on impression. I mean, come on. You know he'd be all over historical Order of the Stone sites. 
He'd probably not want to touch anything. Too scared. <laughs> it was weeks before he'd touch the order hall front door without wearing gloves. Yeah, this place would have blown his mind. Will. When he sees it. Jesse, we are endlessly grateful to your friend for what he did for us. We'd thank him if we could. We didn't know if we'd ever see the sky again. Did you see that? Okay, somebody tell me I'm losing it. Is that... were over. I was content to let life pass me by. That is, until a young hero came along with a glint in their eye. They said, Jack, do you think you can give me a hand? For mine is trapped in a glove from the sea. I thought I had left the seas behind, but the seas came a-calling for me. It's a lonely road for a hero The road is a bittersweet friend For the road is cold and it's hollow But it's all you'll have left in the end Sure there is glory In my tragic backstory But that is not why I'm small for nothing builds shoulders like regrets big as boulders As sure as the grief takes its toll I'm thankful my arms are so ripped Or I'd been crushed from the start And I'm grateful my pecs are so jacked To hold the pain of my broken heart Friends' faces, they'll never leave me So I wrote them this sad serenade For the curse of a memory that's perfect Is that those faces, they'll never fade <laughs> Bless <in> my eye <clears throat> It's a lonely road for a hero But I won't be alone at its end For I will wait in the shallows Until we meet again Until we meet again.
Jesse. Man, is it good to see you. Where are the others? 